Well, good morning. We're at the uh, Los Penasquitos Canyon Preserve in Inland San Diego. We're only about 30 miles uh, north of downtown San Diego and um, in the town of Mira Mesa. This is going to be about a six mile hike out to a waterfall along the canyon bottom of the preserve. Uh, it's situated right in the middle of urban sprawl. So there's houses on both sides of this canyon, but they did a nice job preserving the trails uh, down through the canyon. So we're going to take a, take a walk, me and Lindsay, and uh, go check it out. Well, this is going to start off as a wide, uh, wide fire road. And uh, I read in uh, somebody's trip report that about a tenth of a mile in, you could take a little side route, get you down more toward the canyon and the river bottom. And we're going to take that. It'll be a little more secluded. Get us off the main fire road. Maybe on the way back, we'll stay on this wide fire road. But for now, uh, we're going to head down and try to find this uh, little side trail. Should be lots of wildlife down here. It's nice and cool this morning. I'm hoping... Uh, Maybe we'll see a deer or bobcat, a fox, coyote maybe. Uh, and if the sun comes out, maybe even a snake or two. Well, we just went a little ways up the trail here and there's quite a bunch of uh, cactus over here in this one section. And you can tell it's uh, not too far away from bloom. There's a whole bunch of buds on it, maybe in another couple of weeks. Maybe even less than that, that'll all be flowered out. Especially if the uh, temperature heats up, gets a little bit of sun down here, that'll uh, kind of expedite things. It's nice and quiet down here. Seeing one mountain biker so far up on the main trail, nobody down here yet. We're going to go keep heading down the canyon here. It's nice and quiet. Well, we came to our first water access point here. This is a part of the equestrian trail that goes across the creek right here. We're going to be going up another trail off to our right. I saw a couple more hikers, but it real quiet. There's dog barking in the background. I've seen some poison oak already. Not a lot, just a little bit. And uh, here's the sign that separates the uh, hikers and the mountain bikers. So we're going to be going down this way. And uh, continuing on this way. Well, we just crossed over a little footbridge over the creek and uh, to some pretty amazing, I believe these are sycamores down here in the, in the bottom. There's a lot of people coming through. This must be a trail junction of some kind. We came on this trail, but it looks like there's uh, another trail that comes across these rocks right here. And we've seen several sets of hikers come this way. So. This must be the other way, right through here. So there's another group coming behind us. Well, we took a little detour. <laughs> After we crossed over the water, we uh, headed down what we thought was the trail. It meandered along the creek there for a while and spit out into a meadow. We crossed through a couple of open patches and uh, pretty much dead ended. So we worked our way back across the bridge. And uh, just a short ways was the side trail, which connects up with the main road, which is just to our left right here. So that uh, was a little few minute detour, but we got some good pictures out of it. Uh, saw some places that probably most people don't get to see, but now we're back on the main road. The big wide road as we're finally working our way back down the canyon. Well, we hiked a little ways up the trail and we came to this the sign that said Ichar, Icar's Grave. So check this out. Uh, evidently, this guy was born in 1825 and died here in 1882. So they've, they've got it set up. A little memorial, a little makeshift thing that they did to mark his grave. There's a little plaque here that talks about Mr. Icar or Icar. And it's just a short ways off the main trail, so really, really easy to get to.
These are some majestic oaks down here. Well, as to be expected down here in the creek bottom, uh, this area is loaded with poison oak. So you have to be real careful when you're when you're walking through not to step on any of it or let it brush you as you hike along. I mean, they've given us a pretty wide berth here, but uh, both sides of the trail, there's lots of poison oak. Just something to keep in mind. As we're walking down in this riparian creek area, it just seems kind of strange to see a giant palm tree growing right in the bottom here. And it's found a way over the years to reach sunlight at the top. It just looks a little out of place. Well, so far we've ran across <clears throat> two big wooden boxes about uh, two foot square that are hung up in the trees. And at first glance, I thought maybe they were, you know, boxes, nesting boxes for owls or hawks or some large birds. But this one was surrounded in poison oak and there was a lot of bees flying in and out of it. So it might be a beehive now. Couldn't get any closer without stepping in the poison oak. So... Maybe I'll find another one all along the way here. Well, we've been walking for a ways here. I just checked the GPS and we were at uh, 2.83 uh, miles into this trail. And uh, I believe the waterfall, which is our turnaround spot for today on today's hike, um, is about 3.1 or 3.2, something like that. So it's real scenic down here. It's real cool. Probably a great place to come in the warmer months. Um, temperature right now is probably in the low 60s and in the shade actually. It's kind of cool. As long as you keep your pace up and you know like I am here, I'm moving at a pretty good clip. Uh, I'm not cold. It actually feels pretty good. But uh, in the summertime, this shade is probably a welcome relief. And we should be coming up to the waterfall here in another 15 minutes I would imagine. Well, it looks like we've come out of the shadows and out into the sunshine. Well, since we came out of the uh, south trail down in the creek bottom, now we're on this uh, Kind of a major thoroughfare here, like a big fire road that kind of circ circumnavigates the entire part of the preserve. And we saw a sign back there that so it was 0.8 of a mile to the waterfall. So we're getting there. No, I think we're nearing the falls here. Yeah. It's a multi-use trail. There's mountain bikers, joggers, people on horseback. And uh, since this is spring break, lots of Teenagers, college kids out on the trail. Absolutely perfect day for it. It's uh, since the, the sun has come out, it's warmed up. It's probably in the low 60s right now, and uh, it's absolutely perfect weather in San Diego here for a run or a bike ride, horse ride, or like us, hitting the trails on foot. But uh, I can see a bunch of big rocks up here ahead. I have a feeling. That's where the waterfall is going to be. I've also seen a couple of trail signs up here on a wooden post, so I have a feeling we're getting real close. Well, we must be getting close. Here's a sign, and I hear water. Looks like there's several staging areas up ahead here. You can see the 
rocks down below here. You can hear the water. Well, we finally reached the waterfall. It's not so much as a waterfall, it is a trickling of water down through the boulders, but there's a little use trail that goes down to the bottom here. And you can also cross over, get a better look at it. Well, we made it to the waterfall. There's uh, lots of people down here hanging out by the water. It's a nice, cool day. And uh, crossed down into the water right here. And went down and drops off. Probably about 10 feet down another pool down the bottom. Where it's only a few feet deep. The water's actually pretty cold. I waited across it and I moved the sand with it. There's also a trail on the other side. There's access points from several different areas here, which is kind of nice. We'll hang out for a few more minutes and then we'll be heading back up the trail. Save the spot for some other people. At the uh, Los Penasquitos Canyon Preserve here uh, just north of San Diego. Well, we're working our way back along the main road, and it's just a friendly reminder that uh, we're not that far from uh, Miramar Naval Air Station. F-16 flying overhead. A lot of times you'll have the, uh, the helicopters and the large C-131 troop transport planes flying out of Miramar, but they have a lot of jet action out here, and you kind of forget that you're not that far from civilization when you're down here. Just a friendly reminder. We're about uh, maybe halfway back to the car. We're staying on the main access road now. We're not taking the south trail like we did on the way up there. And, uh, it's wide and flat, but uh, there's a lot of granite and gravel and rocks in the road, and it's a little hard on me and sandals, but... Uh, at least it's nice and flat. Should be back to the car in probably less than an hour, I imagine. Well, we finally made it back to the trailhead. Um, the distance, according to the trail guide, was about 6.2 round trip, 3.1 from here to the falls and back. Um, so a total of 6.2, but uh, we didn't take the, uh, the gravel road all the way out. We came the gravel road on the way back to make a loop out of it, but um, according to my GPS, 7.7. .7. So along the southern trail, which is on the south side of the creek, uh, kind of meandered around. Of course, we kind of wandered around down by the creek, so we added a little distance to it. And we also crawled around a little bit down at the rocks, so we added a little bit of distance to it, but uh, seven miles, the sun definitely came out. It's heating up, and uh, I can see the car from here, so be the end of this episode of Anthony's um, audio journal at uh, Los Pinosquitos Canyon Preserve here in San Diego. Feels good to be back in the car. Go get me a big soda. Maybe go to 7-Eleven or something. <laughs>